Hi everyone, can you hear me? Girls, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'll just wait a minute for everyone to join. Okay, I hope I'm audible now. I was not speaking all this while, so I was on mute. Ranu, are you able to hear? Yes. Okay, so um, good afternoon, everyone. I just, uh, I'm actually looking at some uh, entries whose names are not appearing. So I'm not sure whether I should allow them or not. Uh, there's someone called Android. I don't know who this is. Uh, Okay, um, people will uh, start getting on board. I think we have mo mostly everyone. Uh, I will uh, begin with my screen share first. Are you able to see my uh, screen, everyone? If possible, please unmute and speak because I am handling so many tabs right now that uh, checking the um, chat box is very difficult for me. So if uh, you are able to hear and see the screen, just unmute and say, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yeah, I can see. Yes, I can see. 
all right so just a quick hi hello to each other if you want to quickly turn on your camera and just say hi to each other let's do that meanwhile some people are still trying to log in so you can just greet each other so when was the last time you guys came on a video call was it last week Yeah. Dania, I didn't understand what you told. I said, uh, it has been a long time. Long time, okay. For Shubhangi, this is the first proper call on biology. I understand Shubhangi all the struggles that you have faced. Uh. Ranu, I think is still having issues. Ranu, can you hear me now? Yes, I am able to hear you now. Okay, but when you are speaking, there is some background noise coming. If if you have uh, plugged in a earphone, just make sure it is properly plugged. Um. Okay. Uh, I have also wanted to ask. There's someone whose name is appearing as one e l four one u g l g i g b d p y. Can you please identify yourself? Who you are? If I'm unable to know who this is, I'll have to remove you from the call. Okay, um, on the chat box, right now I will. Uh, I will be sharing a link with all of you. Just give me a moment. Have you all uh, received a link in the chat box? Please check. Okay, just click on that link, and it will take you to a puzzle. You have to solve it in the next five minutes. Okay, I'm waiting. After you solve it. uh you will be able to send it to me from the top right corner of your phone if you are looking at your phone if you are looking at your laptop then uh, there will be a send arrow just click on that and type my email address i am also typing my email address in the chat box for you to send your results to me so your time has started can anyone uh, of you just share if the link is working
Shubhangi, is this link working for you? Samrita, I cannot understand what you You have to game. match the pairs. You have to uh, turn uh, each card and flip them, read and match the correct pairs. Where are the pairs? Everything is... You have to recognize, think. Miss Samrita, I am able to do it. It's what? Who is this, Mansi? Yes. Okay. Uh, once you're done, send it to my email address. I have shared my email address on the chat box. Okay, you have three more minutes now, everyone. Okay, I have received Mahika's work. Hmm. I have received Gauri. Gauri is also done. Oh no, Gauri, where are your answers? Disha, what is the problem? Why are you Amrita? not being able to do it? Miss Amrita, I have to solve it. I, by mistakely, I sent you. Oh, okay. Solve and send. Uh, Disha, what happened? I'm not able to click on it. And when I click, I don't know what is happening. Just, like, how just, do you patch it? So yes, you the same yeah, thing. click, the uh, card turns and you get to see what is the content of the card. Then you randomly click other cards and see which is matching with it. If it is a correct match, then you don't have to click anymore. That those two will remain uh, facing up to you. Only the wrong ones will flip back. Does it make sense? Yeah, but... Two more minutes. After that, I'll show the answer. Okay, wait, I'm checking Shrutika. Mm. Yes, I have received from Vaishali, Mansi and Shrutika. I've sent it to you too. I don't know why you haven't received it. Who Even I sent it to some yeah. Maybe uh, your network is slow, so it's taking time for me to receive it. But I have, I'll have i tell you who all I have received till now. Um, I have Vaishali, I have Mansi, Shrutika, Mahika, Gauri, you have to send again. So mostly everyone I'm seeing is getting the correct pair in one try, one or two tries. Sandhya, I received yours. Okay. That Ms. Amrita, can you admit Ranu? Admit Ranu, wait. Is she uh, trying to re-enter? Wait, she yes. was there. What happened? Let me check. No, I'm not getting her entry request. Um, let me check again. Messaged it on the group. I know, but she's not. She has to request enter. Then only I can admit. No, 
I'm not seeing her only. Okay, now I saw. Uh, okay, I have received Sandhya's. I have received Shubhangi, Danya, Disha, Yogeshwari. Good job. I got Shreya's just now. Who else is left? Is there anyone left? Uh, Shreya. You have only matched two. Where are the other four? Yes, Rana, I'm sharing the link once again. Uh, please check now. Okay, last one minute. Whoever has not shared, please share. Uh, Shreya and Gauri, you need to share fully paired complete work. Only two pairs I saw yours. Yogeshwari, okay, done. Disha also, yes, you have done correctly. Danya, all done. Shubhangi, all done. Shreya, once again, let's see. Yes, Shreya, you got it. And Shubhangi also has shared. Shubhangi, your work is empty. <laughs> what happened? Okay. Uh, link is not opening, Ranu. Try opening on a new uh, tab. Refresh the page. It should work. It, it has worked for everyone. Anyway, okay. Uh, let's wrap up this activity and move ahead because uh, it's uh, around 20 minutes now that we are settling into this uh, task. So uh, I like to share my agenda with all of you. We will be uh, reviewing biodiversity like I had uh, shared in the pinned post on Edmodo. Uh, another thing that I wanted to check with all of you is uh, please unmute yourself and reply when I'm asking because when I'm presenting, it is very hard for me to check the chat box. Uh, have you all been able to write down your timetable um, in a notebook which you are regularly using, the timetable for your synchronous classes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, have you, you have to make sure that uh, this week for the, for the starting, uh, this is the first time that we are doing regular live classes. You have to check your Edmodo, whether it is physics, chemistry, bio, maths, or whether it is uh, English, you have to check your Edmodo page in the morning because that's when your teachers will put up that morning's schedule uh, for your live class. So make sure you, when you read that post, you respond in some way. Either you click a like or you say, yes, I have read. Just respond so that your teacher knows that you have uh, read it. And then you can say whether you can join or not. All right. Okay. Uh, now uh, let's move on to reviewing uh, a little bit of biodiversity. And we are going to do that through three or four questions from this Khan Academy quiz. 
so what i'll do is i'll click on the link and we'll all do the quiz together uh, you you will unmute yourself i'll cold call you will unmute yourself and you'll share uh, what you think the answer should be okay does that make sense yes 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 okay a quick reminder in the unit 18 we have three parts in one part we had studied about biodiversity its levels uh, what is the difference between a species a habitat a population an ecosystem and a niche all that you studied under biodiversity uh, then you studied about classification of all the living organisms into five kingdoms then their characteristics and examples of species under those kingdoms uh you also studied about um, this uh, particular uh, kingdom called um, uh archaea uh, which contains all the prokaryotes you bacteria and um, so you will be also reviewing these topics under classification conservation which is the third part of this unit we will review in our next session that is the biology session 2 so this is biology session 1 which will be repeated tomorrow so those who didn't uh, be, weren't able to attend today uh, can come to this session and those who have attended can also choose to come to this session and do their independent work during this class okay let's start now so we will first uh, review biodiversity let's see the questions so our first question is which statement regarding ecosystem biodiversity is true which statement regarding ecosystem biodiversity is true first all grassland ecosystems have same composition Con conservation efforts are often made to protect the most biodiverse example of an ecosystem specific types of ecosystems do not interact with one another ecosystem biodiversity refers to the number of different individuals contained within a single population of organisms from all these statements which is more correct for ecosystem biodiversity i'll give you a minute to think okay if you think that you have a hunch towards one particular option as an answer you can uh, uh, click the raise a hand then i'll know who wants to share their answer or you can just unmute yourself and say that i want to share no one all right then i will cold call yogeshwari what do you think what happened yogeshwari you are not uh, saying anything are you there girls are you able to hear me yes yeah yes. okay then i think yogeshwari is having some network issue uh how about uh, mansi what do you think you can also ask me to uh, give you a hint there is a hint link also is it d d okay let's see know. mansi says d how many of you agree is there anyone i also know? think it's d who is this i danya ranu 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 okay ranu says and mansi says it is d uh, about ecosystem diversity ecosystem diversity refers to uh, read read the statement once again aloud read it aloud you think it is ecosystem diversity i think it's b i can't understand which letter you said b b conservation efforts are often made the second to protect one. the most yes okay shubhangi also says that she thinks it is b uh 
Ranu and Mansi, if you read uh, statement D, you can see it's saying that uh, it, it, it refers to number of different individuals. Is an ecosystem made up of different individuals? Ranu? Ranu, could you spot the mistake? Mansi, anyone? Of different organisms interacting with. So an ecosystem is not organism, girls. You're forgetting everything. Ecosystem is interaction between biotic and abiotic factors in a region. So all the biotic and abiotic factors, they are not different different organisms. They can be any species. They can be any population. Ecosystem is a vast, uh, uh, like, it's you cannot say that it's an area. It is... Ecosystem talks about interaction, uh, interaction between non-living things and living things in a region. So the non-living thing could be temperature and the living thing could be the plants, which will do transpiration. The rate of transpiration will vary with the temperature of the day and night. So, so these interactions are ecosystem. I also think that statement B, that is the second statement is the correct answer. Let's check. You are correct. Those who said it is statement B. So uh, the correct answer says that as humans continue to impact the ecosystems in devastating ways, it is important for us to try and preserve species diversity across the globe. Now we all know that species diversity is the lowest, genetic diversity is the lowest form of diversity that we can observe. Above that is species and above that is habitat or ecosystem diversity. So if you conserve the ecosystem, automatically you are conserving the populations, you're conserving the habitat, you're conserving many more levels of biodiversity. Okay. Does that make sense or do you still have any questions in your mind? Anyone? Shall we move to the next question then? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Next question. Which of the following is true regarding relation between genetic diversity and biodiversity? This time you will read the statement yourself. And whenever you think you know the answer, share in the chat box. Think deeply. Think deeply about genetic diversity and what is the meaning of biodiversity and then try to find the relationship in these statements. Okay, answers have started to come. Disha and Mahika say A. Others, quickly type. What do you think? More A's. Okay, I'll. Shubhangi thinks it is C. Genetic diversity and biodiversity are equivalent to one another. Hmm. Mostly everyone is saying A. Let's let's select A and C. Okay, A is the correct answer. Shubhangi, genetic diversity means diversity within the genes of a individual means even being a single individual you have variety of genes within your genome within your dna to express different kind of characteristics okay but that will not be same as the diversity that you see in an ecosystem in an ecosystem there are several such populations of different species and each species will have their own gene pool in that gene pool, they'll have their own diversity. So ecosystem diversity is way more bigger than genetic diversity. Genetic diversity is a diversity that you're seeing within a species only or within one individual. Does that make sense, Shubhangi?
Okay. Uh, let's move to our last question. What is a phylogenetic tree? So I don't remember. I think once or twice I had given you all a worksheet where uh, there was a tree-like branch diagram. Even you have seen a phylogenetic tree in your harder reading, um, which shows how the five kingdoms um, have are placed in the classification. So you have to now think that this phylogenetic tree is drawn based on what? Based on what are these branches drawn in a phylogenetic tree? Read the statements and share your answer in the chat box. Okay, Sandhya says C. Disha also says C. So what do we have in the options? We have a linear diagram that shows how one existing species can develop into another. A branching diagram that shows how two organisms in a species produce offspring. A branching diagram that shows how divergence occurred among evolutionary lines. And a linear diagram that shows steps an organism underwent during selection process. So, Let's see, majority answers are C. We will click on C and check. Yes, you got the answer correct. Uh, so a phylogenetic tree actually is not something which shows currently what is happening. It shows with millions and millions of years of mutation and some mutations being accepted in your DNA, some being rejected by your DNA, what happened with time means from our ancestors, how did different types of animals and plants develop or evolve uh, with, uh, with small, small changes from generation to generation. So they are shown as branches of a tree. And the closer the branches, the more related you are with that species. So that's the phylogenetic tree. With that, our revision for uh, uh, biodiversity will limit it over here. We'll do more practice like this later. Now let's uh, check our understanding and what we remember about classification. This is also going to be a quiz. Okay. So here is our first question on classification. Can you all see my screen? Yeah. Okay. The first question is, which of the following organisms are least closely related? Organisms that share a domain, share a family, share a genus, share a species. This answer, uh, take 10 seconds to think. And this answer will be shared by, oh, already all have started sharing. Okay, Vaishali says A, Shreya says A. Shreya, why is the answer A according to you? Can you explain? Everyone says A. Show answer. Yes, A is the correct answer because um, Shreya, you want to tell or should I tell why A is the answer? Are say something. Where is Shreya? What happened? Shreya, is your mic not working? Can I explain? Who is talking? I can't understand actually. Disha. Ha, Disha, tell. Shreya is telling no, she will not explain. Why? You are shy to speak. <laughs> okay, Disha, go ahead. 
are we are all learning okay okay mic is not working that's what you can type your answer shreya meanwhile disha you can say what you think okay so um, domain i know that it's the the main uh, taxonomy so i thought it is very far away like um, organism and domain so that's why i thought the del is closely related to each other okay i will just give you one hint of a word which you should actually use in your answer to explain this that is hierarchy so in terms of hierarchy what will you say about domain disha did you understand what i'm asking yeah so what is the meaning of hierarchy power level like who has the It's most in in this case in case of classification is a, it is a rank okay yeah so domain holds the topmost rank in classification that means domain will have a very very general characteristic criteria as you move from domain to kingdom the gen the generalization of uh, characteristics will become narrower and narrower and finally it will become more specific in species does that make sense to all of you yes yes so in the classification domain yeah. being the topmost uh, rank in the hierarchy it will have the more uh, general general characteristics so in the same domain man will be there um, the uh, uh, a fish will be there an amphibian will be there even though we are not closely related we are still coming under the same domain but we are not so closely related because only common characteristic is that we have a vertebral column so we are least closely related in a domain okay let's see the next question the scientific name for an organism is made from class and family genus and species domain and kingdom kingdom and phylum quickly type your answers in the chat box answer is genus and species the first name is the genera and the second name is the specific name generic name and specific name oh sorry i showed you the answer of this one so we'll skip it members of this kingdom live in unusual conditions such as deep ocean trenches or volcano uh who are they you bacteria protista fungi arche bacteria shubhangi sandhya yes the correct answer is arche bacteria they live in extreme conditions that's why they are also known as who can tell what is their other name because of the conditions yes extremophile extremophiles so our next question ha ah, this is very easy say answers in the box answer is fungi correct next members of this kingdom have never have a cell wall share your answer in the chat box that is kingdom animalia they don't have cell wall they have only cell membrane tool used by a taxonomist to identify an unknown organism what is the tool called dichotomous key binomial nomenclature scientific name binomial key we have done one activity around this yes it is called the dichotomous key means it will keep asking you questions which will have two answers either a yes or a no if you say yes then it will lead you to a next question again dichotomous it will have a yes or a no answer ultimately you will reach to one identifying characteristic which will tell you what the animal is so that's our dichotomous key 
uh, okay our next question is not this one you saw the answer which kingdom consists of heterotrophic organisms that grow on or in what they eat share your answers okay i'm showing my answer now answer is d fungi last question again fungi example of fungi no we will not do this members of this kingdom are multicellular and heterotrophic share your answers multicellular and heterotrophic mahika plant is heterotrophic what is a heterotroph who can tell what is a heterotroph no one organisms that depend on other organisms for food yes they cannot synthesize their own food so they derive nutrition from other organisms and uh, what is a plant then plant is a autotroph yes someone wrote over here <laughs> okay so do you want more questions or should we end this and disha what does your no indicate no we will end it yes we will end it okay we'll do one last question okay we should end it the okay, last one question members of this kingdom have cell wall made up of cellulose very hard question the answer is plants okay with that we will now move on to the next section that is uh i want you to make a plan for the next 15 minutes uh let's say um because we don't have so much time we don't have 30 minutes for independent work you will get 10 minutes so in that 10 minutes i want you to uh share your goal for biology today uh so that you'll know what you need to be ready with in the session tomorrow okay not tomorrow but the biology session 2 so right now i'm going to share a link with all of you and then i'll tell you what to do can you all see the link in the chat box yes sandhya no not okay okay so uh, what you'll do is click in that google doc now and you will see a table like this uh okay wait i'll just i'm with this ask i'm i'm changing the excel the document i got it try the link once again now okay so uh, in this sheet i want you to um, first write your name on the left hand column and in the right hand column in the form of points 1 2 3 4 you are going to tell me um, which module you are going to work on today for your one hour of biology Uh, you can choose to do a biodiversity module which you may be stuck at since long time ago because all that we are discussing today is in modules 1 to 5 okay so if you are somewhere stuck between modules 1 to 5 please make a plan here as to how you will complete those 
um, how many tasks you can complete today and the name of those tasks, okay? Don't just write the number. Like if you are saying, I want to do module three, in module three, what are some things that you are looking to learn or tasks that you're looking forward to complete? So put them in, take the next two to three minutes. If you want go to Edmodo, check the name of those assignments or tasks and put them in over here. In biology session two, I will be discussing conservation and I will be discussing some difficult biostatistics questions. So if you want to be prepared for the next session, then focus on certain areas in your modules or in your textbook that you want to study before Wednesday, okay? Okay, Disha, that's a very good idea because uh, if you're doing the print that I had given, uh, you can work on the unit 18 revision portion where you have a reading and you also have some workbook questions which you can actually practice. Uh, can you repeat the, the number that you said so that I can write it down? Uh, the modules? No, you were saying that uh, the print that I was talking about. Yeah, in the, print, in the print I have given unit 18 uh, uh, revision guide reading and unit 18 workbook. Okay. There's no number actually. It's mentioned in the contents. Um, where shall we? You can actually work on the uh, print packet that I have given, which has unit 18 workbook questions. Um, Shreya, which link are you exactly asking? This Google Doc or are you asking for the print resource? Oh, okay. Uh, Sandhya, don't worry about the whole week. Just mention that before the next session, what all you want to uh, complete and make small, small points so that you can see the breakdown of how many tasks you have to do. Shubhangi, uh, instead of uh, deciding to do 18 to 23, how will you do five modules in one day, Shubhangi? Reduce it, reduce it and break it down in one, choose one module and do that module in detail. I hope you're listening, Shubhangi. For the next live class, I would suggest those of you who have actually done the Edmodo uh, unit 18 modules, I would suggest you to do the print packet uh, unit 18 work. So that will help you revise also. Ranu, uh, for now, if you are working on module three, make sure you do module three and four properly. And after completing the modules, then go to the print packet. Otherwise, the print packet is very hard. First, complete the modules. Uh, Mahika, please elaborate what module 44 is and which all tasks you are going to focus on. Like in bullet points, write down the names of those tasks.
Danya, same for you also. If you are doing module thirty three, which all uh, topics under module thirty three will you be studying? Mention that in bullet points. Okay, um, I will go through the chats one by one. Suddenly there are many messages, so please give me some time. So uh, right now, what you are going to do is, um, we. How many of you have a class after this? Can you please unmute and tell me or uh, message me? nobody has a class after this no uh, okay some students have uh, those who have uh, a class or any meeting then uh, you can actually um, make sure that whatever you have put up in this plan today try to complete it by today so that tonight i'll check this sheet once again um i after checking the sheet if there is a module which you have mentioned you will you have done i'll go to edmodo and check but outside edmodo if you have done any revision work you can link your work in this sheet i'll review it for you and give any feedback that is needed okay uh so we will close this meeting here with a small activity and before we close out is there any questions or confusions or any place that you think that you need to um directly catch up and ask any doubts about particular module you can ask me now is there any question
okay so uh, then i would suggest that if you feel that yeah, you can uh, you want to come to this session again tomorrow you can always re log in uh, i will send another meeting link tomorrow but that will be a repeat of this session in session 2 i will be revising uh, conservation and some biostatistic questions uh, apart from that if we get time i will give you some independent time uh, to just log off from the call do some admodo work and just uh, send me a message or uh, write down in this goal sheet what you have been able to complete so session 2 will be less discussion more of independent work uh, i hope that's what i wanted to convey yes everything is covered and finally we come to the most awaited section of our class today that is the video of the day so do you want to watch it or not how should we end watch oh we have to watch you want to watch okay so the video of the day i will play the video just let me know if you can hear yes finally we have video of the day lot of excitement and you tell me if you are able to hear or not a mud skipper a fish that spends most of its life out in the sea can you all hear land and breathe air very in a very, very low voice yeah okay wait let me uh, reduce the sound wait the audio is very soft for this but if you listen quietly you can hear spends most of its life out of the sea it can walk on land and breathe air its life is very different from that of most fish a fish out of water may be but they thrive here in japan So what's made this upheaval worthwhile? The answer lies in the mud. As the tide retreats, it exposes mud flats. Sunlight hits the rich silt and tiny plants and animals flourish there. All food for the mud skipper. But life on land is not without problems it's hard work to find a mate jumping high above the mud will get you noticed With eyes perched on the top of their heads, the mudskippers keep a lookout for both friend and foe. And males fight those who intrude on their territory. also take care not to dry out in the sun rolling in the ooze keeps the skin cool and moist for this smaller species 
a better option is to retreat from the ground. So he digs himself a tunnel down into the body. His feet of spoil is an indication of the extent of his excavation. Okay, and with that, our class ends today. I hope you enjoyed the video. You want the link? Okay, so some people are requesting for the video link. I'll do that. So the name of this fish is uh, a mud skipper. And mud skippers uh, live in places where there are long seasons of uh, drought. So they dig the mud and stay inside the mud. And they can also breathe uh, air because they have small air sacs like lungs. So you saw different types of type of adaptation within a completely aquatic species. There are also exceptions. So uh, Shubhangi, they were spitting out mud. So that small, tiny uh, mud skipper is digging its own tunnel to keep its body moist. And every time a wave comes and crashes, the tunnel gets filled up. And every time it comes out at low tide and spits out all the mud with so much hard work, that's why the narrator is saying a lot of maintenance has to be done to just make sure that they are surviving in a very uh, scanty water condition. Okay, girls. So make sure you work on your plans today. I will be checking the sheet once again tonight. And also tonight we will, I will also be uh, uploading three modules for those of you who are working on the current modules, you, you will be able to proceed uh, on your Edmodo work, but there will be only three re mo module releases this week. Okay. Thank you. You can leave the meeting now. Bye-bye. See you in the next session. Bye. Bye, everyone.